sick this morning. Not COVID, but like a super bad migraine. I can look at screens and stuff. Okay, this is a really cool song. It's one we usually do the end of the guitar to. It's a it's a two measure strum pattern, so it's not too bad. Um, if you've got that down, you can work on these sweet octaves that it does. Um, we'll get to that in just a second. But we'll start with the strum pattern. Um, let me make sure I got the screen so we can. Uh, this chart's in um, the. Should be in the book, but it didn't. Somehow didn't end up there. But it's in the the file on Canvas. Okay, and it's super small. Just squish it into one page is ridiculous. Okay, but here's the strum pattern. That top one. You have this down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. Let me see. Get so you can see the strumming hand. <laughs> if it doesn't glitch out, come on, man. Right? So this down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. So this is a two measure strum pattern, and uh, but they sw they're switching chords in the middle of it. So they like the. There's two sets. There's G and D. So. So that and before the four, that's where you switch chords. So down, up, down, up, down, up, switch. And then we go A minor and C. So you have this G. as fast as it goes. Okay, you see the down, down, down. Okay, so now we'll scroll it down so you can kind of see the intro. Just does those chords. I'm lucky for us, it's like most of the songs, so like I'll go through it. Um, but we're probably not going to be scrolling through it just because it's just so much. There's so many pages. So yeah, this. Okay, so that's the verse. The chorus um, does have a different strum pattern. Same chord changes. Let's see if it's right. I don't. I didn't check this one. It's the. Yeah, that's pretty much right. See this? Then you switch. I kind of do a dead down up on that four on the end of. See the. Yeah, I should have just should have next on that last one. The X's mean muted. X. Um, okay. All right, and that is, I think, all of it. The there's a bridge section that has some like flat chords and stuff, but that's just piano. Like, there's no guitar there, so easy peasy. Um, and it and it doesn't even. And it's really like single note piano. Even it's not really a thing. I think lends itself to like strum over. So. Yeah, like if you were to play this with like without a piano or something, I just would skip that part because it's so, it's such a, just a break, um, part of the production of it all. Okay, so the octaves. So an octave. If we had more time in class, I'd break this down more. So we do it for um, learn to fly also. So an octave, it's like your power chord. Let's see this. Might need to be a little closer. 
So it's power chord, but you're gonna move your finger over one. So you're gonna skip a string. So here's, boop. And this is actually gonna start on C. So we're gonna do C octave. So when we do this three finger power chord, there's an, it's C, G, and C. So you have an octave. So we, you kind of don't, you don't, I would not use your pinky if you can avoid it, but. Because you'll get. So you're gonna mute the first one, kind of with your first finger. It will like kind of lay against it naturally anyways, because that's kind of pretty hard to not. And you're gonna make sure it's dead, because if you play it open, it sounds like this. Ooh, that's dissonant. And you're gonna strum just those, those strings. If you lay your finger down, like this one, and mute the other strings, then you can strum the whole guitar. that shape and then you're just gonna go up the dots and this one's right above the dot so it's pretty quick you're gonna go and you can play that one the whole time that it actually alternates and it's really hard to get on a guitar that doesn't have kind of a cutaway um, to the, Go to nine, go to ten. Three, five, seven. And then it goes to fourteen. And this one will be really tough to get on acoustic guitar. So, um, let's just say, skip. It's pretty easy here. Okay, so that if you can get fourteen, awesome. But if you can't, just go three, five, seven, ten. Each time. And that's, I think that's the hardest part is just go jumping back into your G chord. So instead of a C, you're going to go into those octaves. strumming is super easy because it kind of is. It's a two-measure strum pattern which we start with at the beginning of the semester, right? If you can't play closing time at the beginning of the semester, we're just starting. Okay, all right, so yeah, again, so chorus, you have that scan over make sure there's something else like I said there's a weird bridge part you'll see oops come on so let me grab it usually lets me grab it but yeah here's the second column yeah same thing this bridge here skip it okay I'll kind of play with you and you can kind of see we'll do it a couple times And this guy ends on a C chord, I believe. Here, like the. Which is pretty cool. Leaves you hanging. All right. I'll put the chords up so you can kind of see what we're doing. But it's really the whole. The chord progression does not change. So just. Hang out just the strum pattern and we'll go over all those different spots. Okay, let's get on the, the song here. Okay, here we go. So remember, verse. It.
where those octaves come in. It's fast. Page is cut off. Okay. Ends on a G. Keep pushing the wrong string to pause. I apologize. Okay. So there are some spots where it's like there's like like they come up with the drums at the end and then like just follows that drum beat like a dun 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 dun. And like a big deal if you don't get those it's like in one both of those happen only one time in the song at the end so really the, the main part and it's like that that part only is cool if the drummer and the bass and everyone you're playing with is on the same page if one person doesn't the other person doesn't um does not then it'll look really dumb um sound really dumb too okay let's do it one more time and we'll call it day
octaves. Give it a try. That's it. Um, guys, if you need help, the next two weeks are really for remediation. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might see if I can get permission and do like uh, makeup video sessions or something or we'll work on that. Um, kind of just see what people need. We'll see. I'll be around, but this is it for the last video of the semester. Okay. Awesome, guys. Thanks for, Thanks for tuning in. <coughs> And scene.